back to Mama Four Boys. Tonight, we're gonna take the can uh, cover off of our travel trailer so we can uh, start to get things ready for the camping season this year. So, uh, I'm gonna put some marks on the top of it so that I know where to put it back at for reference marks next uh, fall when I put it back. So, first I'm gonna go around the outside edges and unhook all of the straps that connect it down underneath. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. We'll be back. Hi, this is Tommy with Mom Before Boys, and this morning I'm going to take you through our Jayco J Flight camper. Uh, we uncovered it last night, and I'm, today I'm going to start getting it ready for camping season. So we'll be doing a walkthrough, and we'll let you see all that uh, Jayco offers in the J Flight camper. And uh, I'm glad we washed it before we put it away last season because it looks great. It's a nice thing to see whenever you uncover your camper for the first time of the year. Uh, so we'll go inside soon, and we'll take a look at everything. All right, we're back, and we are going to go inside and uh, check the camper out for the first time this season, and see what it looks like inside when it's all closed up for the for traveling. Okay, uh, inside here we have a really nice uh, screen door that you just close, and it got this little device here that keeps anything out. Uh, when you want it open from the inside, you just push down on the little disc and that unlocks it. And it latches onto your door. Uh, and also the door's got hydraulic things that open it and stop it and keep it from uh, slamming into the outside of the camper. So let's do it. See what it's like. Let's turn on some lights. There's our control panel. We have our um, tank monitors should all be empty except for though that's the battery um, got our switch for our water pump our water heater for uh, propane or not and our water heater for electric this is a light switch that turns on uh, some lights in here and this is the outdoor this is the outdoor light switch this puts the awning in and out this puts the kitchen in and out. This puts the room slide in and out. So first I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you a little bit here. So this is the room slide. It's got a wonderful couch. It's a jackknife sofa and it's very comfortable. Or a jackknife bed. Uh, we, got the up, we, we have the upgraded package that has the glass in, the, in some of the cabinetry and uh, things. This is what the, the kitchen area looks like when it's closed up. Uh, I've picked up uh, the six of these sticky traps that I place anywhere that there's like an opening for a slide uh, in the winter time so luckily so far there's six and that might be the extent of them uh, without any any rodents in them so I think that's a good sign so let's go ahead and put this uh, put this room slide out that you know that it clutches out the gears uh, don't get damaged or anything it just tells you it's all the way out so this is uh, gives a lovely amount of space in here um, we have a lot of windows uh, we have this light switch right here that turns on these lights the, the 
sconce on the wall and the overhead light and you can turn each one of these off individually if you like um, we have lots of a lot of windows in our camper so we've got kind of a, a really nice window there to sit and look outside if you want to sit and have uh, food and all of these uh, the table folds down to the so you can make that into a bed also uh, and also you can take it outside it's not it's not actually connected to anything so you can take it out there's an outlet underneath of there underneath the table lots of windows so there's the, the room so far um, with the one slide out and I'll put the kitchen slide out now next so the kitchen slide is on a uh, Schwintech uh, tooth type of uh, slide it's got these at the bottom and the top the other ones are cable I think they're cable uh, they're not the Schwintech track uh, so we'll put the kitchen slide out now and the kitchen slide really adds a lot of a lot of uh, room for the camper. When you put one of these slides out, you hold it for a few seconds until you hear the, the slide motors. Uh, that sound you heard where you heard three different uh, sounds of motors timing out that was the motors resynchronizing yourself it's very important that you do that uh, you never run one of those slides out part way you always have to run it out all the way and all the way back in when you put it away and listen for the motors to resync if not what will happen if you run one of these in and out partially what you'll wind up with is motors that are not synchronized for travel and you'll get your slide will go crooked and if it gets stuck uh, and you burn a motor up you're in big trouble uh, if you're out camping somewhere not something that's easy to fix okay so we have a in our kitchen area we have a, a beautiful pantry that has uh, it's big it's got a real door with a real doorknob nice uh, glass in it we've got a very large uh, refrigerator with a freezer a nice uh, stainless steel microwave uh, with a turntable and it cooks very well uh, we've never used the stove in the camper um, nor did the people that we bought it from just to cover up the burners so we can use it for set things on if we want but the so it's got a nice nice oven and stove lots of storage here storage here there's storage underneath the the island. Uh, the island is very, very nice. It's got a lot of storage in it. Uh, we keep trash can underneath there and some Swiffers. Three very nice drawers. The nice thing about this that they don't do anymore in this model, I think, is these cabinets underneath here open up and they hold a lot of stuff. They can hold lots of cans of food. But underneath here, there's a light switch. Where is it? There it is. And that turns on some under the cabinet lighting for the island. Very nice. Same on this side here. We have uh, storage there. This this camper has uh, the, the furnace. The, the ductwork is on the floor just like at a home. And so it makes it very efficient and very warm. Okay, and this right here, when you come in the door, we have a, a closet that holds coats. And we keep life jackets in there for swimming. It has a very nice entertainment center in the living area. Um, it's got the DVD player, CD player. Um, that's also the television channel control and everything else. You got this for a uh, place to keep your remotes. Uh, there, and you can also Bluetooth this to your phone and control the radio with your phone. Nice cabinets up here for storage. 
cabinets down here. Also for storage, kind of deep too. Pretty deep cabinetry there. For a camper, a lot of campers don't have very deep cabinets. So on the island itself, uh, we have uh, an outlet at each, each end of the island, which is nice if you want to set appliances there to cook. Uh, on this side here, I've showed you the, uh, the sofa. Up above this storage here, we, we keep uh, just, these are corner pillows that go on the couch right here. And you can assign, you can turn these lights on and these lights will also be assigned to uh, the switch that operates that area if you want to have all the lights come on when you turn the switch on. There's storage underneath of the couch. There's also nice storage underneath here. And it came with these totes. And so we can put things in there. A lot of nice storage. All right, let's look at some other storage spaces. We have an outlet here on this beautiful little island that we have. We keep a lot of, you know, our food and stuff up here in the top. More storage here. Again, this camper is just loaded with storage spaces. So this is the bunkhouse. This is the as an entire another room. One of the main reasons we got the camper is because we have four sons. Uh, one's young, the others are uh, old enough to sleep in their own beds, of course. And this, uh, again, has a real door, a real doorknob. And the slide is closed right now, but we're gonna put this, first I'm gonna look in here. So I had another one of the little, the little rodent traps here. Better move that so I don't smash it with the slide. this slide out a little bit and I'm gonna check if I put one of those traps on the other side I don't want to crush it with the with the uh, slide so I'll put it out part way and then we'll be back okay here we are we have all the all three of the slides out uh, I've removed any of the, the traps there uh, weren't any traps underneath of the the bunk there behind the drawer where the pump is that's where the there's an opening to the outside for hoses uh, I put one there there was there were no tracks in any of the traps, so I'm going to say that we have not had any rodents inside the camper over this winter. Um, so I will uh, show you the boys' bunkhouse, which is one of the main reasons we bought this, as I said, because we have four sons, and uh, they're growing like crazy. So this is the boys' room. The door shuts. They can have their own bedroom in here. Uh, so there's a large bunk here, another bunk here. Another bunk here, and this folds down into a bunk, but it's also a dinette. And uh, the boys like it when there's a dinette there. Uh, when we camp normally, uh, they'll leave this bunk here up so they can sit at the dinette and sit with their laptops or whatnot. Uh, this pushes up and it latches into those holes there, as you can see. Let me try to latch it while I hold the camera one time here. So that goes in there like that. As you can see, I'll latch the other one in just to be safe. And there's the other one goes in. So for tra uh, we can travel with it like that if we want, or we'll travel with it down. But it's nice because the boys can sit here, uh, can sit right down in this dinette, and you have a. It's lovely. You have a television you can watch. Uh, the cushions are comfortable. There's. Uh, a window here that we can draw the blinds if we'd like. And all these windows do open all the, also. Uh, there's a window in the top bunk here that we can, that's a push out emergency window if you have to. Um, there's a lot of lights in here. There's one at this bunk, that bunk, one at each bunk, and two more overhead. Uh, again, this has the air conditioning, also has vents in the ceiling for the air conditioning. Uh, there's a lot of vents in the ceiling that uh, circulate the air through this camper. Um, behind this wall here is our outdoor kitchen, so that's why this, the bunks are offset. But uh, there's uh, storage underneath the TV, underneath the entertainment center, storage above it. In the summertime, we'll put, we'll put an Xbox in there and just travel with it. 
so the boys can play Xbox if they want to. There's uh, lots of storage here and above. Coming out of the bedroom, out of the boys' bedroom. Uh, just pan around the kitchen here and show you the, the kitchen area. It's got a two two bowl sink, one big bowl, one small bowl. The, the uh, faucet does pull out. Shows you the two outlets. Uh, again, there's storage underneath all of this. There's storage underneath the bed or the uh, the, the soap the bed here. And I'll show you how these cushions that I showed you they were up up above the couch in the cabinets. They go like that, and so they they turn this into a very comfortable couch. Let me put the other one in here. Can you see? Very comfortable. I'm impressed, very impressed with that couch. So we've got the Knights Entertainment Center. Let's go check out the bathroom. Got a, a real door on the bathroom. It's got a ceramic toilet with a foot flush. Um, storage underneath the sink. The hot water heater is also behind that panel in the bottom. Uh, nice sink, storage in the cabinet. Got a full size, really nice shower with a skylight in it. Um, I have the hose off of it inside for storage, but it's a handheld shower, it hangs up there. Very nice glass doors to shut uh, and seal up really nice. Just a wonderful camper. Vent up there opens up. Toilet paper rolls on the back of the door and you have three hooks in here and a towel holder and a uh, ground fall adapter outlet. And we'll be right back. All right, we're back. I'm going to show you the uh, the master bedroom. It's got a queen size bed in it. Um, it's got its own uh, huge air conditioning unit in the bedroom. That was why they added on to uh, upgraded to the 50 amp service. Uh, again, you see all the all the vents in the ceiling for the air conditioning and and stuff. The heat is all on the floor. Uh, floor based heat, so it's very warm. I uh, got cable and a. Uh, Electrical outlet up there. It can mount a TV there, which we'll have mounted by the time we go out camping this year. Um, there's a window on both sides. Each side of the bed has its own outlet, as you can see there. There's also an outlet down there. Two USB ports and a and a 12 volt outlet. Uh, lots of deep storage in here. Again, the upgraded doors with the windows, the glass in them, the smoke glass above the bed. Uh, lots of storage there. Um, and the bed is very comfortable. It's actually an upgraded mattress that we that we put in. But I'll show you the so the the camper from its from one end uh, this end here. We're paying around, and you can see the uh, down there into the boys where the boys' room is. So large living space in here. Open the boys' room back up, and we'll. Turn on the light in here. And I'm just going to show you to the other end of the camper. It's very spacious. Uh, we're very happy with it and we really got it uh, for a, an incredible price. Um, so it hadn't been used very much as you can tell. So now I'm going to take you outside and I'm going to show you the outside of the camper and the outdoor kitchen and the storage hold and everything else. See you soon. Hi, and welcome back to Mama Four Boys. Today, we are going to do a walk around uh, of the outside of our Jayco J Flight. Uh, it's a 2017, and uh, it weighs about 11,000 plus pounds. It's 42 and a half feet long uh, with the tongue. And I'll show you down the side of it here. It's, uh, it's got three slides. It's got a... Uh, a living room slide which is right here it has a bunkhouse slide which is right here it has the premium wheels back here you have cable TV satellite hookup of course uh, this is a uh, your freshwater fill uh, 
or no, yes, this is where your freshwater fill is. And that's sure we have a 50 amp service because uh, our camper was upgraded from the manufacturer. The uh, original owners had a second uh, air conditioner put in it, so it's got the uh, two air conditioners. Okay, this is your outdoor shower here. Uh, it's very nice because it has a clip inside that you can uh, put your shower on. It'll aim up, or you can just. I, what I do with it is I put the put the shower head in there, and I turn it on, and it's a perfect uh, height for me to wash dishes outside that I don't want to wash inside the camper. Let's see here. This is our this is our city water connection here. This is our fresh tank fill. What this other what this is, I, which I forgot. This is our black water flush. Uh, so if you want to flush the black tank, it uh, you hook your water supply to that, and it has some uh, some things inside that spin around and will clean out the black tank. Um, let's see here. It's a window for the boys' bunkhouse. Over here we have an outdoor kitchen. It's rather large. I'll open this up. So what we have here is we have a let's set that down piece of my fence. Um, have a, a very nice size uh, refrigerator for the outdoor kitchen. It'll hold a ton of pop. It's actually also already cold. Um, got overhead storage. Uh, we have nice counter, the matching countertops out here that match the inside. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, two burner gas stove with stainless steel top and a nice outdoor sink. Um, our camper also has uh, low low uh, water valves here to drain them, drain the tanks. That's a, an LP hookup for another gas grill. We also have a rear LP hookup for another gas grill if you wanted to. And then one nice thing is we got an outlet out here and we have a light out here too. Uh, very, very nice area for outside at night. We have a nice big awning. We have outdoor marine speakers. We got an outlet out here, um, gutters, a beautiful awning. Uh, our door is nice. It's got the glass, uh, the, the frosted glass window in it. And so that whenever you open it up, uh, it, you, know, you can't see right inside. It just uh, has a frosted glass. Uh, our camper came with these covers. They're stainless steel. They cover your your intake or or your exhaust or whatever for your furnace. This is for our furnace, and uh, and then for our hot water heater. Uh, and it uh, keeps rodents and bugs and things from getting in there. Okay, we've got. Yeah. A big pass through storage full of things. Running lights. Uh, it's, it's got, uh, it's already ready for solar panels to be plugged in. Uh, we have the uh, two large propane tanks and the, uh, the electric jack. One nice thing we have this here, and I don't see too many campers that have that huge, really bright LED light built in there. Uh, so if you're doing something in front of the camper at night, uh, you can do that without any problem. Uh, the roof is perfect, um, in perfect condition. Um, let's see here. So that's about it for the camper itself. Uh, and now I'm going to just show you what we pull it with. And we pull it with a, a 2019 uh, Ram 2500 with the 6.4 Hemi. Uh, it's a wonderful truck. There's six of us in our family, and we all six fit inside the uh, truck. Um, we all, all six of us will fit in here. So we all travel together, and 
It's pretty long though. I think it's got to be 60 some feet whenever it's maybe 60 feet when it's all together. Uh, you can see the air conditioner on top of the camper that's for the uh, master bedroom. That's the second one that was added on. And uh, let's see, it's got uh, it's got a uh, an adjustable aimable antenna inside that you uh, turn this knob and it will fine tune your antenna. It also has another aerial antenna on the top that's from the factory. And it's just a great camper. I'm very, very impressed with this camper. Uh, the fellow we bought it off of, it's a 2017. He listed it as a 2016 by mistake. So we we went to look at it and I had no idea it was a 2017 until we started doing uh, getting together to do title work and I was I was happy thinking that I was buying a 2016 and uh, it was a bonus for us when it, I found out that it was actually a year newer camper than what than what we had agreed to buy so uh, our resale value is is way up on it I was fortunate that, that the man I bought this off of he and his wife uh, just traveled very little and they probably had a lot of extra money so they they kept their this thing in a inside of a building from the day that he bought it. It was indoors, so he never had a cover for it. Uh, never had a cover, and so it was always stored indoors. Uh, this is again this is a, this is a cantilever mount for my uh, gas grill that goes on the back back bumper. Uh, that came with it, and the grill came with it. Uh, so I, I have no complaints at all. With this camper, not a thing. There's nothing that I would change about it. It's beautiful and it's just in excellent condition. And uh, for our family of six, uh, the two of us with four boys, we couldn't ask for more. So having said that, I hope that you've enjoyed uh, seeing um, uh, our camper and our our truck and everything, and what we what we what we use to camp with, and we camp a lot and. Uh, we enjoy it very much. Please uh, share this with your friends. Uh, like, share, and subscribe our channel. Please tell your friends about our channel and uh, you can hit the notification bell and we'll send you notifications when new videos come out. And until the next time, have a great rest of your night and God bless.